Greetings fellow streamers. This is Diamond Build. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy day, morning, noon, night, afternoon to watch this video. I'm going to take a few moments here and show you how to create the YouTube API key. I do apologize for the audio having problems with my laptop. I've dealt with this for months now, so maybe I'm a few months away from having enough money to save up to get a decent laptop, all right? and be no more audio problems and I'll start doing videos again. But I know this video is needed, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this video. Please deal with the audio the best way you can, all right? Maybe even turn the sound down, you may not even need it. To create a YouTube API key, obviously you need a Google account. When you go to the URL that I'm gonna put in the browser, that I'm about to put into the browser above, you're gonna need a Google account. If you don't have one, you will be asked to create one. All right, the first thing it's going to do is I'm doing this on a brand new user. All right, and the first thing you're going to need to do is tell it what country you're in. I'm in the United States. Yes, to click the terms of service, click agree and continue. All right, I'm in the United States. That's what I clicked, or that's what I selected. Agree and continue. Now, bear with me because I haven't done this in a while. All right, so the first thing you need to do is let's go to Google Cloud Platform. All right, select a project, select a project. I'm not editing this video. Select a project, now create a project. New project, new project, here you go. Okay, so let's give the project a name. Let's call it YouTube API One makes no difference what you what name you give it it's just for your reference all right so let's call it YouTube API one let's click create you don't need an organization now click the I know I said in the video earlier I wasn't gonna have to edit I did have to edit so sorry about that I wanted this to be nice and clean, but now it's not because I had to, I made a few mistakes. As I said earlier, I haven't done this in a few times. Haven't done this in a while, all right? So click on the name you guess you guess gave it. That's your project, YouTube API one or whatever you named it, click that. All right, now you need to go over to where it says API and services, scroll over, click on library. Okay, now you have to select select what API you're, you want, you need, which is YouTube Data API V3. Click that, YouTube API Data, YouTube Data API V3, click that. Click enable. All right, now we have to give the YouTube Data API V3 credentials. Click on credentials right here on the right side, right there, click on credentials. All right, which API are you using? Uh, YouTube Data API V3? Yeah, I'll click that. Where will you be calling the API from? I know in most videos you see everybody click Android or web server or whatever. Just click on other UI. Just click on other UI. That works for me. Here's one of the places where I said I'm not sure if I'm doing it correctly. Because I just use public data. Because I'm not interested in logging in with the YouTube add-on. I don't know if this makes any difference. Maybe you can log into it. Maybe you can't. But I don't log into the YouTube add-on all right on my k media player all right i guess the public if you have problems you might have to come back and do it again and use the user data i just use the public data all right all right so click on which credentials do i need after i selected public data click on which credentials do i need click that and there is your actual youtube api key right there you don't need to copy it right now 
this is where most videos end without giving you the client ID and secret. So let's go create the client ID and secret. So click done here. You are done. Over here, let's click on the right side because we need to get this Authent 2.0 client IDs to work. That's your that's where you can get your client ID and secret from. So right here on the right side, click on configure consent screen, click on that. Click on external. Click on create. Give it a name. The name you give it makes no difference. You don't have to be formal here, I guess. It's going to give it the same name I gave the, the API key. All right. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. I think that's it. Oh, oh, the email. I'm sorry. Click on your email. Put in your email. Your email, not my email. All right. Your email. All right. All right. Click on save and continue. Scroll down and get save and continue. Don't even worry about what that stuff says up there. Save and continue. Once again, scroll down. Don't even worry about what it says up there. Just click save and continue. All right. Scroll down and click back to dashboard. All right. Where it says here all this published stuff and whatever, you don't need to worry about that. I'm 90% sure you don't need to worry about it. If any of you have any troubles, let me know. But let's get out of here. Let's go back to the left side here where it says credentials. See right there? Left side, right under library, says credentials. Let's click that. Click it. All right. Now we're back. Now we're back to the console screen. All right. The dashboard. You're going to go up here to the top where it says plus create credentials. Click that. Click the event client ID. Click that. Where it says application type, I usually get put in web web application. All right, so click that. Some people click the other ones. I just click web application, so click that. Once again, they need a name. Whatever you want to type makes no difference. I know you guys see me punching in the same thing each time. It's just habit. You don't need to you don't need to do this you don't guess guess for, guess for identification so i know what goes with what all right click on create don't worry about any of this other stuff just click on create and you should see your client id and your client secret and there they are and once again you don't have to copy from here you can if you want to but you don't need to just click ok And here's where you would find your client ID and secret right in there. Just click the YouTube API one or whatever you named it. If you want to get rid of this annoying little check mark there, which looks like something's wrong, you don't really need to. That's to do a restriction on the key. You don't really need to. But if you want to, just go ahead and hover over it and click where it says edit settings. And don't worry about this first restriction. Don't don't mess with that. You don't need to because you you don't need to put in IP addresses or Android app or any of that stuff. Just scroll down to where it says API restrictions, restrict key. And once again, it's going to ask you what key it is. Scroll down and it's the YouTube data API v3. Click that. Click save. All right. Now we're back to our screen. There's your API key. Let me go in. Let me go into my K media player and show you that YouTube does not work. If I click on popular, I need an API key. Let's put in the API key. So let's go back. Let's go back and let's grab let's grab the API key. All right. You can you can just click right there and copy it from there, or you can actually go in and copy it from right here. But once again, you can also copy to copy to your clipboard. All right. Put it on your device. You may not have that luxury. You may have to type it in. I have seen some YouTube videos that show you how to cut and paste into Android, but you're on your own with that. You go look that up. I'm not getting into that. All right. So let's go back into my K Media Player. Let's right click, long press on the YouTube add on. Let's click on settings. We're going to enter the API key. The left side here may be different, may be different on your media player. All right. Click on API. 
or hover over it, scroll over to the right, click on API key, and gets pasted in or type it in. There you go. I really do feel sorry for you if you have to type it in. All right. All right. So let's let's go back to the dashboard page. All right. And let's click on right there where it says Authent 2.0 Client ID. Click on the name of it right there. So you can't just copy and paste it from over there because you need both the ID and the secret. All right, there's your client. There's your client ID. Just copy that whole thing. All right. Go back in. API ID. Paste that in or type it in. Click OK. Now we're going to go back and get the client secret. There's the secret right there. Copy that. There's your client secret. Copy that. Click on API secret in the add-on. Click that on. Paste it in. Oops, oops. Paste it in. <laughs> And, you, and you, it's, it's control V in case you don't know control V say okay and that's done click okay let's get out of there and let's test it we may have to restart Cody let me just go out and go back in again all right let me, okay yeah we may have to restart Cody the K media player yeah we're gonna have to restart and we do this real quick real quick exit Give it a few seconds to exit. All right, let me go back and open that. Oops. All right, here we go. Let's go back and open that. All right. Let's go back to add ons. YouTube. Let's open YouTube. Let's click on popular right now. All right, you see, there we go. I'm not going to click on anything because I don't want a copyright strike for doing somebody else's video, which people can actually do. So I'm not doing that. But you will click on them and they will play. All right. All right. And I thank you for watching. I am Diamond Bill. I thank you for watching. So I hope you enjoy the video. And please share it. I won't say like and subscribe because this will not only be on YouTube. You can if you wish. I thank you for watching. Have a blessed day, morning, noon, or night. Bye for now.